It's a mess in this attic Lot going on but there ain't no need to panic Come on up and join, we getting wild, getting manic Spitting truth for all you fanatics uh, Every week got something new to say Ain't no filter, this shit coming straight from the brain It's coming straight from the brain Yeah, it's coming straight, coming straight from the brain Pyramid Scheme, Grand Rapids, uh, December 21st from 7 to 11. There's a show coming. It's called Winter Heat. Uh, you may have heard it by its alternative name, Midsummer's Night Dream. Oh. Um, no, Winter Heat. And I'm here with three of the stars. What, three of the four stars of that show? Five. So one, two, me, Jay, Sony, Ski, Sheepy McFly, and Paris by Night. Uh, right. Paris by Night, he's a DJ. So he's like the house DJ for the evening kind of in between and all that mm -hmm. okay so yeah. so you guys probably recognize brandon nicole the seventh from agl music he's here with two of his compadres yes yes jade yes, yes jade thanks for coming thank you for having me sunny ski yes sir so let's talk about the show first i, yeah. I, I think you guys are coming on but let's let's get down to business and talk <laughs> about this show no yeah so december 21st thursday at pyramid scheme i'm doing a show called winter heat um i'm gonna hit the stage and do some new songs and also a couple of favorites um fan favorites some of my songs that got the most streams and stuff like that but um what i really wanted to do with this is i've been djing a lot like all year i feel like i haven't really rapped too much like in public you know what i'm saying so i'm like you know what let me just bring a whole little tour experience right to the city and just light it up one time because tis the season you know what i mean and um, when I was trying to figure out who I wanted to support, I'm like, of course, I'm going to reach out to people who I like. Because I'm trying to have a good time and want the vibe to be right. So I like want to figure out who can help contribute to that. And then like Jay came to mind because she's been killing it with her R&B, soul, you. pop, electro. I don't even know what they call it. Everything <laughs> she's doing with her and her band. And then Sony, he's been lighting shit up with uh, hip hop and rap for a couple of years, I feel like. But... This year is when um like he really came on my radar and just like tearing it up in the city. So I'm like, all right, it's a no brainer to yeah, appreciate have him that. On there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. Chiefy McFly from Detroit, multifaceted artist. That's my homie. He'll be there. He was in Art Basel this past weekend going in. Um, but yeah, we'll have him in Grand Rapids. It's gonna be fun. It's cool because because Pyramid Scheme is kind of more traditionally like a rock place. Mm -hmm. But it's dope. I guess we're bringing a little bit of hip hop in there. Yeah, right? like mm -hmm. it's definitely a, a live venue place. Like I, I love Pyramid Scheme. Shout out to Tammy. Um, I love I love playing there. It's it's a good vibe. Like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. So so Brandon, we've talked a lot with you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna ask a couple of questions over here for a minute. Oh yeah, that's please, cool. Okay. Please. So Jade, you talk talk yeah. a little bit about your you know musical journey. How long have you been doing it, and when when did you really get the bug to to dive in for real? Yeah, so I've been producing music since I was seventeen. I just started making shit on my phone, <laughs> and then I got Logic, and yeah, I have been teaching myself ever since. And I started performing um, February twenty twenty two, and yeah, I was performing solo for a while, and now I'm working with a band, so that's been nice. Nice. So but, yeah. how would you ca kind of categorize your music genre wise and? Yeah, I'd say it's a, it's like uh, R&B alternative, kind of like what he was saying. There's some electric influence in there, like electronic, um, and kind of jazzy too with the band, so that's been cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. sunny oh man what about you i mean i grew up in a musical household you know my dad and uncles are all doing music but i started taking it serious when i got beat in a battle like so bad i like had to like write some shit that was crazy you got and shamed then, into it into it <laughs> oh man like at the time i had bad acne right so like how old were you at this time oh this rap battle was i was like 15 but i didn't take it serious until i was like 18 yeah. but this this one got the bug where i'm like nah, i gotta write i, I need bars like i need content yeah. i had bad acne at the time and it was this dude we was rapping we just going off the top because at the school every day we'd be outside of school we battling 
So he was like, you talking shit, I'm finna light you. All them red dots on your face look like someone trying to snipe you. It was awful. Damn. <laughs> boom, boom. They had pushed me. I couldn't get yeah. back. So I took the rap at home. Yeah, I took the rap at home. I was, I was looking out the window like, fuck, man. So... <laughs> The Damn. fact that you still remember that shit. That's I'll never forget that. I'll stung. never forget that. It's stung. I'll never forget that. <laughs> but um so so yeah, but um I'd say I've been chasing the series since I was eighteen. So I'm twenty four now, six years. My pumas is on the pedal, I'm cruising through burbs and ghettos. I view and observe my window, I'm two inches from the curb, tooling at the sea state. That's cool in the breeze take when they got move fever settled, but I have to keep pushing, have to keep pushing. Everyone's from Grand Rapids here? Yes, I am. Yes, sir. Yeah. So where'd you guys go to school? I went to Wyoming High School. Okay. I went to Grand River. Grand River. Oh my uh -huh. God, no shit. That's funny. And East yeah. Kentwood. East Kentwood, yeah. Falcons, you know. Dope. Hence the red lights in here tonight. I don't know if you guys noticed, <laughs> but you got on red too? I do. Go Falcons. Do. Go Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> this will be on tonight. Sango went to East Kentwood. He's a Falcon. Savon went to East Kentwood. That tracks. Waldo went to Kentwood. Venus Flytrap went to East Kentwood. We're all Falcons. Yeah. Yep. Well, we're not no. all Falcons. No. no. I'm a Titan. I mean, I'm sorry, no. deep down inside. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. Here, no. get that, put that boom down a little bit, and then oh, yeah. that way we're not blocking your face so bad. All right. Wait, you know what? This table is very sturdy. Where'd you get it from? Yeah, where'd you get this table? <laughs> it's interesting you guys ask. It's a fine <laughs> table from a, a company out of Holland, Michigan called Centoani. Oh, oh, you don't it's say. Big, it's big and sturdy. I, I can is. fit so many things, like, like so many computers. I like her. So many things. It's a, a, a human-sized charcuterie board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we do body sushi up here sometimes. Nice. Oh, it. That was where I was going next. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Body sushi approved board. <laughs> you might not believe this, but I have a I have a Hyundai Ionic, which is like a, a Korean version of a Prius. And I pull, I brought this thing back from Holland in that. Dang. And it was like on my it was like on my shoulder. Oh it was my so God. not oh, safe. Man. That shit's crazy. So yeah, go to Sentawani, but maybe get yourself a delivery driver or something. Don't be stupid. <laughs> yeah. But soldier. thanks for noticing. It's a good table. They they gifted this to us and nice. and just said thanks. Uh should talk about it on the show. And it's been yeah. two years since we talked about it. Probably since the last time you were on. No, yeah, it's big. It's like it's deep. I like it. Yeah. So, all right, that's about it, guys. We talked about the table. Still. Talked about the that was all. Take all that right. still. Take podcast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's. What's always fun is talking about your influences, right? So, yeah. so who influenced you, and then how do you channel those influences in your in your current music into people ever? I don't know. It seems like it'd be cool if you channeled someone and then someone came out to you and said, you kind of have vibes like this. That'd probably yeah, be a yeah. dope thing. Mm -hmm. So let's, so Sav, who are you, who, who do you go back on? Um, who do I go, who would I go back on? I know on? NERD, Neptune. Yeah, for sure. Like, mm. um, for real, NERD, of course, which mm. I'm glad, uh, it's nice to see for real doing a Louis Vuitton shit. That's, that's yeah, he's really like the cool. creative director, right? I it's, know. That's it's so beautiful to see. It's so beautiful to see. Yeah. So that, of course. And then, um, I'd say like, these days, right now where I'm at, I'm more so like on some like trying to just like Quincy Jones, Barry Gordy, it. like that's where I'm at right now at this point in time. Like, and I feel like I've always kind of been well, in that role. You got the debar as your family in your in your in your. I mean, yeah, uh, but even like with the like AGO, like helping to shape that, like with the Sangos and the Waldos, and like let's do this, and you know what I'm saying. So like that's that's where I'm at right now. But like uh, mostly producers, Pharrell, Kanye. Um, Barry Gordy, um, Quincy Jones, right there. Just Hell yeah. Right there. Yeah, producer. I'm pretty yeah. sure <laughs> Quincy Jones made these mics popular on the uh, Thriller album, I believe. He did. That was the first they album. made some bangers off. The, classics was made off these uh, joints. Like, I don't think they really changed much either. Have they? No, hell no. They haven't. These yeah. shit's sturdy. Like, yeah. Okay, so where do you fall in all this? So, okay, so... I will say when I first started making music, I was very inspired by these dancers, lay twins. 
just because of their musicality and that got me inspired to like produce music and then I started really getting into Kate Trinata for a long time just in terms of production and, and the musicality and the funk of it but I don't think my music necessarily draws like direct inspiration I just think I get that like that fired up feeling from it to it inspires like inspires you kind of yeah yeah, yeah. and uh in terms of singing, definitely Erica Badu is someone that I look up to and really like draw inspiration from in terms of like her strength singing and you know like her depth and her voice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that definitely plays into. Everyone loves her, right? You can't. I mean, it's Erica Badu. I mean, she's so skilled. I'm a Mark Rebier fan. Mm. You guys know Mark Rebier, Loop Daddy. He did. He did. He had her on his show a couple times. It was cool. They had good yeah, chemistry. Yeah. They both from <laughs> Dallas, right? Yeah. 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 So what about you? Oh man, uh, TDE mainly like mm -hmm. Ab Soul and Kendrick, mm -hmm. and them two, mm -hmm. Slum Village. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, this is good for me. I'm learning. I, I get to learn about these folks now. Oh yeah, man. Like Ab Soul and like Kendrick, obviously like wordplay, but like Kendrick more like storytelling. He like he always had a concept and stuck to it. Yeah. Ab Soul, his wordplay, how you just. He just different with wordplay. I love playing with words like Lupe. Yeah. You know, but Slum Village, that I mean, Michigan. It's from, you know, from Detroit or? Oh, Slum Village is a group from Detroit. So it had Jay Dilla in it, mm -hmm. by 10, T3. Yeah, Jay uh, Dilla. J was in it for a bit. Uh, Jay Dilla's brother. Illa J got underrated discography, man. He's crazy. But like, yeah, those people. Go listen to these people. I'm going to put their, I'm going to put these names down in the, down in the. Uh, yeah in the show notes and I'm my, I myself will be listening as well so I don't feel like oh, I'm no, out of yeah. it no people know about the you know definitely put in the description P.S. listen to Slum Village and Jay Dilla mm -hmm. alright that's yeah, in gotta put that. yeah, a that's separate funny. note just for them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Jay Dilla list I meant to say that I seen you post <laughs> that on um on a uh, Facebook Ken's something book. about that and I was like wait I got a link with homie cause like well you mentioned that Lupe that's one of my like my top three rappers yeah. I love him like. if you are my homeboy you never have to pay me go on and put your hands up when times is hard you stand up Schoolboy Q probably my favorite just cause I like his songs be it'd be like lively mm -hmm. yeah, like for Absol sure. Autumn is crazy yeah Autumn. Absol but Dilla with Slum Village to raise it up Song. Bro, and his verse bro. on that shit. I Crazy. see you posted. I was like, hey, I see, uh, bro, that whole I'm dropping verse. it in right now. <laughs> that's the hardest verse. That's the hardest verse. Yo, like that's the hardest shit. verse. No, not me, dog. <laughs> like, hey, yo. I see you post that. I'm like, all right. No, nah, he gets it. Like, he gets it. <laughs> that was the illest shit. Cause it's not always about like, oh, you got the crazy syllable, all that. He was just talking shit to the like the most Found dopest. The right pockets, bro. Like, yeah, what? that shit's crazy. <laughs> Damn, that is good. Yeah, Holy that was shit. some shit. That, that was, was some shit. shit. Do you know Keyshawn? <laughs> you met Keyshawn before? Uh, what's his name? His rap name? Um, Rebel Cusco? No, is he, he a local guy? Mark Fion. Yeah, they from here, but like, so they was, uh, they toured with Slum Village and worked with them on and off the past couple years and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he's nice. He's super nice. Was you in a oh, cipher with him? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I was about to say you would just cipher him. Yeah, that's my man's. Like that's my man's. But like he was, yeah, they from here and they was messing with them. But long story short, we used to throw parties at the Death House. Was you around for the Death I, House? I, no, but my old neighbor used to play shows there. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. shit was crazy. But Slum Village pulled up to the Death House, bro. It's like what? underground shit. 
Rock crazy shit. shit. Like, right? It's like there's bro. like a half pipe kind of underground. Bro, kind some of. dirty Damn. underground, like, oh, skate. Bro, I'm talking oh, about, shit. and they pulled up on the behalf of Keyshawn and, and Mark that's Dion bro, and Rock, fire. bro. So they dropped Raise It Up. And yeah. I was like, am Ooh. I really hearing them play Adila B and Grand Rapids in this Holy underground shit. warehouse? Like, that shit blew my mind. Like, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's it's, it's fire. crazy, dog. It's so crazy, but. Yeah, that was that was wild. Do you guys feel like there's a white space in the market? Meaning, like th nobody's done this yet. There's no hip hop Christmas, really. Hip hop Christmas. They yeah, try it. Yeah, Should like, there be? But do, mean, do we have enough Christmas music? Do you think? Uh, no, there does need to be more Christmas hip hop music. I feel like, but like, who? I mean, you have to make that shit probably in the summer. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's mm -hmm. thinking about it? I know. Like that. Otherwise, like, it's just rushed together. Like starting in December, you start jumping on it. And I don't want to. Like, Maybe next year we should make a Christmas. That would eat. It could be, that would eat. Could like, I'd be, be, be trying to be, be like, I gotta be, be ahead. I'm like, I know enough friends. I even tell my people, I'm like, I know enough people. I could put together a Christmas compilation. But then Christmas comes around mm -hmm. and <laughs> never do well, that well, shit. well, kind of a running gag and a talk in the attic is we. I I, I mm -hmm. made this bad song like Thanksgiving three years ago called Tryptophan. And mm -hmm. I just repeat, tryptophan. It's kind of like a Migos vibe. And <laughs> I need and, to hear it. And, well, and then, tryptophan, and then the next year, I, exactly. Oh, and yeah. then the next year, I added like lyrics. <laughs> and then this year, I had a bunch of people uh, make their own covers of it and kind of oh make God. it. Oh, that's and fire. so next, I didn't contact you guys, but like next year, I'll make sure I get you in on it. And Thank we had like you. twelve people do it. It was, it was super funny. It was that's, cool. that's fine. It was keep it going. Yeah. Keep There's no Thanksgiving music, so we're trying to get the market. That's so true. But it's a it's a non sexy holiday. Like the food, the song is all about like stuffing and like you can make it sexy shit. Stuff, it's hard to make stuffing, stuffing sexy. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's not. I, like you talking on. to three artists, right? We heard stuffing. We like, no, that's kind of sexual. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's the most sexual term. <laughs> you can a I crazy song about some stuffing well, and leftovers. That's Sound the like mac and cheese. Like holiday. Exactly. Oh man, exactly. hold on. Football getting chubby. You know what? Exactly. We might be all be on, on a mission. We all should just work on this. We yeah, have this. Fine. We, yeah. we have 11 months. rapping, instrumental, which exactly. is three Christmas, no, three Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Then the we'll do Christmas. And we'll feed That'd the streets. Exactly. That's fire. Exactly. Because That's the fire. Feed the streets. A whole event. Feed the streets. God damn it. Oh, feed the streets. They're going to be trilogy. crazy as hell. All right. Yeah. Because I do like those memes lately. People have been saying that, like, don't get mad at Christmas music. Nobody's making other holiday music that slaps. That's right. Like, Let the beat ride, but in the meantime, pass me a few sides, macaroni and cheese, a little beef pie, uh, grease, mashed potatoes and brown gravy, compliments to my old lady, been in the kitchen all day, while we betting on the game, and I'm barely awake, uh, let me get another plate, I know I had enough, but can I get some more of your stuff, man? I know I had enough, but can I get some more, until I feel that trip the fan, trip the fan, Do we ever feel like Christmas music, Christmas music is corny? Like, do we ever get that vibe? Christmas music, some of it be corny, but I do like um, simply having a wonderful Christmas oh. time. She's cute. Um, what else do I like? This Christmas by Donny Hathaway. Mm. Um, and probably like... What? What about the Drifters? White Christmas, the one from Home Alone. That's I'm like, dreaming from a white Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the hardest one ever, Feliz Navidad. They saw they so in that. They in that. That's how most of us learned our first Spanish. Oh, that was fire. Feliz Navidad. That shit is like a banger. Yeah, it is. Oh man. So, so I guess you guys heard it here first. So, I guess you guys heard it here first. Winter Heat. It's all Christmas music this year. Exactly. So get down there. I'm Can't. only doing features. I'm doing a, a extended Santa Baby remix <laughs> cover for 30 minutes the whole yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You should come. It's gonna be lit. Gonna be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Bring, wear your I'm Santa excited. hats. Get free admission. I'm so mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so when when you're coming into a big show like this, which is extra special because it's in your hometown, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have like pressure or what? What kind of? Where are you at in the process right now? Are you just getting excited? Or do you have your set already planned? Have you been rehearsing? What's that all look like? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm excited. It, it is kind of different, like, performing, like, home versus, like, I mean, you just, like, know everybody kind of, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know friends. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I've got to tour around a little bit, right? So to feel the difference, it's like, I don't know, none of these motherfuckers in the crowd, whatever, I'm just going to do my mm -hmm. thing. But at home, it's like, damn. 
I gotta face these people. It's yeah, cool. exactly. Friends and family. Yeah, yeah. people who go, I yeah. gotta answer to tomorrow and shit. Let me make sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're spending your time doing. Mm, mm, good luck, yeah. right? Right. So, right. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be, put on a show. Yeah, really gotta put on a show in the whole mm. town. No, it's an honor. Yeah. It is. It's, it's an exciting. Honor. Hell yeah. So uh, you already have everything planned out. You know exactly how it's going to roll. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say most no. hard, kinda, <laughs> I mean, still some kinks. Like cause me, me and Jay's been working on music, like I said, for like a year and a half. And um, mm -hmm. so like, I'm not sure if we might try to premiere a song there yeah. or even just had a DJ play it or something like that. And then me, I'm still working on some special guests to incorporate my set and oh. stuff like that. Um, and I'm sure he's probably fine tuning, working on show mixes or something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we, yeah. We're trying to get ready. We yeah. almost there. You know what I'm saying? So, so are you, do you all produce your own music then? I, I mean, I'm, you do, mm -hmm. right? You do. Are you going to have your band at the show? Yes, I am. So, but so, we do we do covers as well. So we'll do yeah. some covers too. But Drums and everything? Or are the drums on coming off the machine? Or? Drums and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's always cool. Yeah, that's good shit. And then you, do you make your own beats and stuff? Uh, not not for these songs. Yeah. Not for this project coming up. So, no. Nah. Yeah. I like, I like your vibe. It's kind of got like a... Old school. I don't. I don't know mm -hmm. enough about the rap terms to be honest. Yeah. With you. But like, I like. It's got a Kanye production vibe to me. Oh, appreciate that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call that. Other than good. <laughs> yeah. Kanye, I, like I wish that. Kanye I wouldn't be like a good soul vibe. A, a Nazi yeah, sympathizer because he's so good. That's he's so crazy. Is he? I don't even know. I don't even know anything about that. I don't either. Yeah, he's just good. I don't. I don't even really he think is. he really feels that way anyway. I think he's more. Yeah. Prove a point or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even know. I just be sipping my whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you guys listened to Toby Nigigway or Nick? Oh yeah, 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 dude, that dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love, I love that. Yeah, it, it, his wife is from here. Really? Yeah, yeah. fat. She's yeah. from here. The one who be on all the songs, all the videos. Holy shit! Southeast side. I did not know here. that. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Damn. don't quote me. I'm not sure if it's southeast side, but uh. Oh, 80, she's a Falcon. Eighty percent. No, not a Falcon. No, she grew up on the southeast side of East Grand Rapids, like me and a lot of people. Uh, but um, she uh, yes, they did a show at the intersection. What, like a year and a half ago or two years ago? Damn. And she like shouted out, like was showing love, like keep going, y'all in the city. I'm Holy proof. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's fine. Gave a nice speech, and mad people was inspired. And yeah, that that moments it. album that they did, that they have like a full length video of the whole album. That's and it just, it just dope because like mm -hmm. the, you can see there's such a clear vision. It's all, they're all in like this mint green the whole time. Yeah. Dude, yeah. It's like on their, they it's on their property and they got their kids in it. The it's tour dope. buses was all mint green when they pulled up to the intersection. Like yeah. every, everything was mint green. I'm like, nah, y'all went fucking dope. so hard. Yeah, exactly. They go so fucking hard. I've seen them open up in Detroit for Erica Badu and they had like the whole cast behind them. Like, yeah, like was, choir and like. Oh yeah. And it was all yeah, wearing the mint green. Like I was dope. like, cause I'll see them online, but just seeing them in person, I'm like, oh, they do it in show. Too, My like, boy Juice went to that show in Detroit. Yeah, yeah he oh, went that's to that shit too. That's far. He said it was wild. But yeah, that's uh they kill it. That shit, the whole aesthetic and everything is yeah. like Oh yeah. I feel like more people need to know about it. but more people need to know about you though i mean more so people why... just need to know about good music I yeah honestly yeah i mean because more people yeah that's the thing if it's good know about it like i don't mind talking about toby or whoever right if if it's good shit you know what I'm saying? right <laughs> police not be died toby all those uh, things. exactly that's a bop yeah, that's exactly. definitely a bop that's definitely a bop it needs to be talked oh, about. Oh, but one thing i did want to say um so like with him uh, with sony well, let's start with Jade first, right? So, like, how I even found out about Jade's music, right, was, uh, well, both of them is kind of mutual friends. But, um, so, a mutual friend, Tori, right? Mm -hmm. So, Instagram, I was following somebody and, like, their friends, and she would always post her music. And I will just be like, all right, okay, cool. Like, that's not her. I won't click on it. It's not Tori, right? <laughs> then I'm like, 
And I'm like, all right, let me let me click on it and I'll see her around kind of I think I saw you around a couple of times mm -hmm. with Tori. And I'm like, all right, let me check her stuff out. Her friend is promoting her heavy, so it must be good, or yeah. either she's a loyal friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm we're like, checking out either way. You feel me? And I'm like, uh so I heard it, I'm listening to the EP and I'm like, damn, this shit, some of this shit's really good. And one song was like, I'm like, no, this shit's really good. I really Thank like you. this beat. And I hit her up like, hey, who made this beat? She's like, oh, I make all my beats, all my recording and all And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, no brainer. All right, cool, let's link, right? And then that's kind of how we've been working for like a year and a half Very since then. Very we connected. Hell yeah, Very been much. making like really cool stuff. But like yeah. since we started working, yeah. she started doing stuff with the band and all that. Mm -hmm. So like, and I'm still doing my thing. So we're still working, but still growing mm -hmm. in our artistry yeah. and still letting that Which cook. I've so. appreciated it because I feel like I've, I don't know, I've just really noticed how we've evolved. Hell and I'm yeah. excited for that to continue to come together and like expand yeah me too it's gonna be dope like even with this show running this and killing this in december is gonna be a nice foundation or momentum snowball effect yeah, yeah. right mm -hmm. for like way to start the mm -hmm. start the year yeah mm -hmm. how'd you meet how'd you come up with sonny or how'd you like so get with him? he so um orange cap right yeah shoot your videos and that's my that's my dog like yeah. I, I love andy <clears throat> but like i feel like you've been working for a couple years right see yeah that's because yeah. i feel like he brought your name up to me a couple of times and i was like all right and i was seeing the work i mean clearly because we work with him too so i would yeah, see yeah. you working and shit like that but i'm more so of a person like which fucked me up during like COVID and lockdown right and shit when the clubs was closed i'm more of a like see a person live type dude like yeah. unless i get the time to click on your shit and really listen to it which is like good luck because life be life in type but shit. like <laughs> but if i'm in the club and i just see an artist and hear a couple things i'm like damn they good this is good like yo your shit's good you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. to see yeah, the live you know? performance is always yeah. yeah i saw you at um at the art rack gallery That's i feel like I type shits you know what i'm saying i was what? like i was in the i was in the cuts but this was like last last august um so what is this? I think it was the same time I first saw. Oh yeah, I think was I came the, to see her. Type, yeah, yeah I came to see Jay. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one. Yeah, you had that shit on fire. I'm that like, damn, he's rocking this shit. I'm like, the fuck. That All right, I was like, I know he been nice, but like, I right, this shit's nice. That was yeah. Yeah. And then see you just like, uh he's been doing like rap battles and um up in the clubs doing competitions with the with the songs and really going at it really young and hungry and that's like that's like 90 percent of the battle you know what i'm saying even her yeah. with her making her beats and recording herself and like that's 90 percent of the battle like it's just it, music's so interesting because it's like it's such a personal you can take a, the exact same thing and interpret it so differently yeah hell mm -hmm. yeah like, you know and like it the it isn't even necessarily anything completely unique on its own, but when you put it all together, it's such a unique package. Yeah, it's, just, exactly. it's such a personal thing. Even if someone's not yeah. the best, no, hell it's yeah. just like, oh, this is cool. Like, this is their own take on something. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah, it's still something. Like, because, I mean, it's still, I guess, like, subjective or whatever, right? Like, you can probably have Ruby paint something. My four-year-old daughter paint something put it up and frame it and put it up next to some yeah and someone guy, might be like, and what, is like this this, what is it what is it yeah this is amazing <laughs> right like art is definitely yeah. subjective i mean but it but respectfully it might have made him feel a way or something exactly. right you know right like, so i feel like the more humbling approach is that an artist just to know that you are just you are just a vessel for like creativity to come and go you yeah. get what i'm saying like in the instance of my four-year-old daughter like she just was painting that to paint it she didn't know yeah, there's no guy, aim for some it. guy was about to compare it over compare it to a monet or some shit like you know what I mean? right yeah i mean i went through a long stretch where i didn't i just wasn't expressing myself creatively when i was just concentrated on work and it yeah i was miserable yeah you can't i didn't even really fucking to realize it until i got the fuck Bro. away and started doing creative mm -hmm. stuff and i'm like this is what i've been missing and i'm making yeah. a lot less money now but yeah i'll take it all day it's fulfilling yeah, yeah that's it's like, fulfilling it's like that balance like i feel like that's like you can't deny that like Cause I, I like to tell my homies, cause even people are like, oh, I haven't made music in a while. Even with me, people are like, oh, you DJing? Like, are you rapping still and X, Y, Z? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm doing all of that shit. Whether I decide to share it with you exactly. motherfuckers, yeah. there's a difference, right? So right. like when certain artists be in a spell, like, well, no, I haven't really. It's like, nah, you still a artist, you still a vessel. Like, mm -hmm. just cause you ain't sharing yeah. it, like still do it. Cause you love it. Like, mm -hmm. then once you be like, you know what? I think this is good enough to share with some people or my community or the world or the internet you know yeah. what i'm saying but exactly. it's a it's a struggle because I, people perceive it sometimes as if you're trying to you're attention hungry or something mm -hmm. and when i say you i mean 
us. Us, yeah. Right, right. Right. The all general us, you. Yeah. But like, it's not that. Like, I I do have a desire to share it though. Mm. We all do. But but I and I don't really know exactly why that is. I don't think yeah. it's because like, look at me. Mm -hmm. I just think it's part of it. If it because if yeah. it does just exactly. exist in your head or in your attic or in your studio or whatever, mm -hmm. it just takes on a better better life when or, you know when people are interpreting it or like if are they moved by it basically exactly. yeah, like, it's bigger than us yeah, i think that right. calling like that's what's pulling us to share is because it's needed it's a message that was needed you know yeah for sure and, and plus like i at least harken back to like how i was inspired by when other people shared their stuff mm -hmm. yeah. whether whether i connected with it perfectly or not it still is inspiring so why not try and do that to other people i don't know yeah exactly mm -hmm. why not that it's just like altruistic i'm not doing it for other people <laughs> right, yeah, right but yeah. that's part of it i don't know it is part of it yeah it is it is it's weird because even like some of my songs on soundcloud like i'll take them off or something like oh you should are kind of old, oh, whatever nobody's streaming it, so blah, blah blah. Then people would message me, You took that off. I listen to that every day. Yeah, that was like, on my God workout playlist. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Oh, <laughs> shit. all right. So, like, you never do, yeah. you never know. And it's like, Here's the thing what's better is sitting on your hard drive or somebody it's driving to that shit every morning? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. enjoying that shit. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you might as well do that. Like, you know, sure. like, well, so what? Okay, I'm gonna each of you have to go, and I want you to actually look at the camera when you okay. do this. Okay, okay, what tell. This is your elevator pitch for why they need to come to oh. Winter Heat. Oh, elevator pitch, I like it. Like, oh, just okay. what, 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 yeah, you, whatever you think. Mm -hmm. Whoever's ready to go can go first. Oh, I'm ready to go. What's up? It's the seventh, and this is why you need to come to the Winter Heat show at Pyramid Scheme December 21st. It's because you ain't got shit else to do, and you should bring your body heat and get warm with us. You feel me? Look how cute we are. Come on. He made points. Come points on. were made. Come on. Points were made. Can you, can you, I bet you, can you up one off that? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be fun, cute, sexy time for everyone to get relaxed, get chill, get hype, be whatever the fuck they want to be, enjoy their time, enjoy their night, express themselves, experience other people's expression, and just be real and raw and honest with the people they love. And I think that'll be dope. Tis the season. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you don't go, you weird. <laughs> and or your pussy stink <laughs> your breath stink <laughs> come, to, come on come on 21st winter, can, winter heat, cancel baby. your plans winter heat, you gonna on. let me say that <laughs> you gonna let me disrespect you come on 21st pyramid We're scheme going. come on <laughs> Hey, oh oh, yeah. it also plays out well because it's a thursday before the holiday weekend mm -hmm. and then christmas is a monday so you got a long it's a good you got no excuse it's yeah you got friday to chill right. everybody's like Get brandon you. seven what you want for christmas come to the show party like this party what are you doing on a thursday <laughs> exactly he's making love to the camera right now <laughs> no he's got the right idea he's pitching them like. it's all these things Man. although all three of those are yeah, right yeah i agree oh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna Agreed. be real fun hell yeah do you so uh do you already have like this the lineup set in terms of who's going when mm. um yeah kind of type shit but just you got to come the whole time if you guys want to see them come come at seven. Oh yeah, yeah i exactly. mean seven so i mean yeah definitely be there by eight o'clock so doors open at seven by seven thirty we're gonna have like the music playing and stuff like that a dj getting the vibes right but um yeah eight o'clock we're rocking and rolling <laughs> up until eleven we might DJ and, and rage until midnight, you know what I'm saying? But like, Probably, you know, I, I mean, most likely, but you know what I'm saying? You should definitely get there at 8 to 11, just three yeah, hours. It's going to be dope. Hell three yeah. hours. It's going to be super yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I want to get a little, like, try to get some footage of it or something. Ooh, that'd be yeah, a pull up. I, I'm, I'll, I'll obviously have dropped this before then. Otherwise, this would all be a, worse, a wasted promotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drop it, like, the day after. Like, oh, damn, I would have gone to that. Yeah, like, Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wanted some pussy stack. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, wait, does it? Like, okay. oh it could be the it could be Nancy. Does it? Could be our pug, actually. Oh man, I can't. Not the pug. <laughs> blame him. I blame oh, him man. on a lot of stuff, actually. Man. Well, so how do we? What do you guys think about like performing a little bit? Um, I'm down. I brought something prepared to perform. Me, I'm down. I don't know. You guys brought something. Hey, I don't I'm, have anything prepared. That's I'm, okay. I'm down if you just want to throw a beat on, like freestyle. Sick. About seven one time, Jay. Talking to Addy. Let me rap Addy. Yeah. Wrong so, Soup. Yeah. It's a people champ. Let me hear the people chant. Just peep and watch it, but watch it. I do what people can. With this mic that I'm holding, look close and see my hands. They got no holes in them. No one won't say I'm Jesus, man. Cause I ain't walking water, but I surf the sea of hands. The surface, you ain't seen it, let alone leave a scratch. 
rats Your punches never land I guess you learn from Peter Pan New bitches rockin' cheetah skin Pissin' on the Peter fans Smokin' dick and tokin' on a lace and Tiva strand I think I'm thinkin' niggas related They doin' skins fam Thinkin' Dina Jam How you freak like me A girl get free to sightsee But my time is pricey I finally got the limelight Lazy wanna be my main squeeze Cause my lines Give them a stop of face When they hear the sound of bass It will count if it not fit the count And go lost as I lost count of it in the counter's place Try to chop it up We not a secret box of ring It's how I treat the stage When they announce to me The sound of D It's bound to pop up Haters turn to paparazzi Guess they want me shot up I'm treated performing like a potluck Dishing out for the dark Cause we be fasting The way I'm CD passing You can see keep passing And it was Kiki key, key laughing When this verse went underway Now I got your attention I got something to say in the beginning, there was the word Genesis, the revelations, also through a verse The light so me be for the things that I'm speaking But light only a theme because Elohim speaking They always say Lucifer, the angel of music But who created gospel? God, that's confusing Why the etymology for Lucifer is one who bring light And what about the MCs who choose to sing Christ? It's music advice or misuse advice In the same way it can save He can even take a life No exaggeration, words or spells, music is magic Juvenile said back that ass up What happened? When I Said, throw your hands up, what happened? We call that call to action. Fuck asking. More than half a body made of water, say it ain't shit. Water vibrate the sound when the eight away hit. Middle state can say shit. Past seven days of weight lift. We let her rank his brakes when we replicate what they spit. On the way to pay rent, don't got a place to pay again. Your friend was laying on pavement. So when I'm on these stages, I'm making my occupation. It's worth the hating. And stop the false prophet, impersonation, and perpetration. Ski the MC, your time is over. But this MC me master a ceremony. I'm my control. Over. I'm not done yet, sun is scared, I'm gonna rise till I see the sun set Yo, I'm chillin' by the seven, we gonna bring them heaven I'm chillin' by Jade, and I got the vision jaded You know this, life is in the matrix, I'm poking And everybody know what I'm about to do, I know you know this Oh, I switched up the flow, let me buffer it, fuck this it, let me get rugged with Every time I'm on it, fuck it, run the rugged shit, let me knock it explicit No, they gonna mess with it, so clean, who is me to be scared? Sun is scared, make the next turn like CDs And then he plot, y'all got coming up, sunny skills gonna spoil it. That's how it is, that's how I'm around, fucking around. Sunny skin on sunny sky. Hey, hell yeah. You said bad shit like Bruce Wayne on the toilet. Yeah, bro. bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was a freestyle. Uh, fucking I great, know, bro. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, no, wait. That's the impressive part to pull out the ass, bro. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking fire. No. Appreciate Hell yeah. Talking no, to Addy. No, hell yeah. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got a project December 29th called States of Mind LP. It'll be out everywhere. Uh, whole concept, babe. I'll sum it up real quick. No, yeah, take yeah, take your time. I can take my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, the first track, name it. No. <laughs> Four minutes Yo. and three seconds. Oh, man, yeah. for real, for real. Can I perform it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, basically, it's just a whole project about um, just two sides to it. Uh, there's the inside and then the outside. The inside, I like to call it the physical battle. The outside, I like to call the spiritual war. So the first half is just about things that happened when I grew up here. Just, you know, it's kind of like the typical, like, okay, rapper come up story, or uh, broke rapper chasing a dream, like, but it's just what I was going through. Yeah, like a more internal battle kind of. Absolutely. And it's more things on this physical plane. It's more like, like I say, it's, uh, you know, family issues or like money issues or like, even if it's some positive, it's physical. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the second half is when I, I, des- I decided to get my shit together and then I started trucking, got my CDL and I was over the road. So I was over the country. And um, when you buy yourself over the country, places you've never been is just you and you're forced to think about things. So yeah. it's like the spiritual is things I'm dealing with myself and not just outside forces. It's literally just yeah. me versus me yeah. out in the world. I've never been. So and kind of addressing some of those things that happened to you in the physical sense before. It, it, it right. Kind of- right right cause coming it, to terms with it or right right because yeah um yeah i could even uh perform the song too but this second son that's yeah, yeah. the last song of the first half where i'm like fuck me and pick i'm ex- i'm saying i'm done 
but all the physical shit. But then in the second half, you see when you left alone, certain habits and traits come up because there's no one to check you. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a real deep project, man. Fuck being picked on, yeah, holding little bro. I've been dissed on, but treated so despicable. Ironically, it continued because my lips are closed. My tongue a bit is so. Many times I gotta make your hoes, or rather that than a slit like you hit the hoes. So the slow and then tip the pose, you venomous. Say what you want about Sonny, I always kept it genuine. With my generation, I never treated or created like a genie. You passing through wishes yet again. Uh, the sins in that genuine sipping, but Jameis in my government, been fucked since the beginning. And now I admit I was a bitch, ambitious. I couldn't cut so many spots for those incisions. My decision, a business vision, victim of the next video's addicted. Pretty broke, but either way, I came to my senses. My fingers talk from point, blaming every direction, neglecting my reflection, and blaming my second head when erected. The blaming my lack of lessons on my adolescence, and blaming the lack of masculinity present. The blaming the woman for when the game or contested, and blame celebrities celebrating. Was devilish, blaming all the puppets, pedophiles, and the presidents, blaming the agendas on our genders that represent, blaming the genders, but not the inner moment of silence. Give me a second. 29 states of mind. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. So your your songs are lyrically dense. Yeah. Appreciate it. So how much do you? I mean, you're are you writing constantly? And then how much of that are you picking out to be songs, or do you kind of have an idea with a beat first, and you say, oh, okay, man. I'm gonna write to this. How does that, how does that look? Uh, so like even the song Mima's Focus, I've had de so many rough drafts of it for years because this is a story I've been wanting to tell. I just wasn't good enough and at a certain level. Same with uh, uh, Second Son. Like I wrote that to a Black Milk beat, like the first part of that, like years ago, the first part, because there's things I was going through at that time. It just wasn't my time to tell it because nobody knew who the fuck is Sonny Ski. Right. So it's like. Now is time I tell that story, and I I have ideas of each song. It's twenty songs, technically eighteen, two interludes, but nine songs on each side. So it's like I know exactly what topics, what I want to talk about. It's just how do I make this musically good? Yeah, you know, and well, you still, feel like your, well, your levels up to where your taste level is, or where you're ready to share it. Right, right, because I could have all this lyrical density, and it just sound like noise. Right, you know, I'm still I still want it to be enjoyable and like music. Yeah. I think a lot of people can get lost in the in the message sometimes where it's like you gotta make it sound good. Right. So And you know what doesn't hurt yeah. on that Mima's focus song is that yeah. uh headband henny. Headband so Dude, headband henny, uh, Kazu. I really yes, enjoyed sir. his his little uh his vocals are awesome on that. He's good. Oh he's dope, he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, shout out headband henny. And it, so it would, do you have any projects like are you working on any direct albums or Yeah, right now I'm working on a project and uh um at the show, Winter Heat, I will be performing some new stuff. So I'm excited for that, but it's definitely been, yeah, kind of that same thing of like trying to get my my music to sound how I want it to sound and like growing my my skills in production. Yeah. But um, it's been really fun because I feel like I've grown in terms of my my ability to sing through working with the band. So I'm excited to to have some new shit playing. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be super cool. I'm geeked. But, uh, Ira Glass, who's the this American Life producer and writer, um, he has a really good quote where he talks about people that are generally are creatives that are actually pursuing creative endeavors like y'all are, mm -hmm. I guess like I am as well. We tend to have good taste, you know, like people, like our friends probably think that we like music, the music that we like, they like, mm -hmm. and we kind of end up being tastemakers. But because of that, when our skill level isn't there, we're really critical of it. Yep. And mm -hmm. it takes a while. You have to work a lot before exactly. your, your output is up to your taste level. Mm -hmm. And once, once that starts to happen, that's when like shit really happens. Exactly. You know, but there's a lot of confidence issues that come with that too. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, do you guys still battle like imposter syndrome or, you know, that feeling like, you, why am I allowed to do this? Why do I deserve to be here? Am I good enough? Do you struggle with that yeah, stuff still? So like yeah. my, my new year's resolution specifically, or just whatever, basically like, I just, I don't want to, um, they kind of match, but like I don't want to overthink as much, mm -hmm. and I want to trust myself more. Mm -hmm. Which is like, wait, what the fuck, bro? It's the same thing, but like, cause yeah, like easier said than done, though, for sure. It is. I mean, it's just that flow state, cause like as a producer, sure. like you get it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I don't, I don't have no ideas, or even you, like I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna talk about for this podcast, <laughs> and it just hits you, right? Mm -hmm. And you look up, like, damn, it's been 50 minutes, right? So yeah. like that is the ideal. Just being. Yeah, yeah, like that's mm. the ideal, but it's like no simple way to get in there because if it was, everybody would exactly. be everybody would be tapping and it would be a pill yeah. or something. But yeah, for sure. But I, I also think 
yeah, it's just the most productive time. Like when you're just not in your own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. Exactly. Fucking way. Like no barriers. Just like because I feel like that's how I like to make art. Anyway, I like to just keep like clay. Like just keep building, 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 chiseling, 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 mm -hmm. building, building, stepping back. You know what I'm saying? I not agree. just like give me that clay. I know exactly what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it do it right, right. Square. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Yeah, then it's just too formulaic or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sometimes right, you have a good like. You know, I know what I want. Beat into a square. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> yeah. like for the yeah. most part, no, nah, I like to just uh get as much and then strip mm -hmm. down. Like But like, but does that does that ultimately lead you to tinkering too much and then you'll never get done with something? Like <laughs> some, that's an issue for some oh, musicians. Sometimes right? some sometimes, but like with me at this point, like with me bit like cause I've been producing and stuff for like a decade. So like at this point, now that I know that that's my process, I just go into it. It would be like if I'm going to the mall and trying to get an outfit, right? It's like I just get mad shit, come home and just pick that one. And people are like, well, don't that take mad time? And it's like, yeah, but like. But I look good. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to return it back. It really don't. It's just a little time. But like if I plan for it, what's time? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's just how I like to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you, you got to try everything mm -hmm. Yeah. within the context reason, right? or, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i feel like that's been a bigger topic in my life lately like i don't know i notice how those things translate into just an overall thing that i need to work on like being in flow state just being existing and like not getting in my head thinking like oh maybe i don't deserve these things or it's not good enough or whatever it may be because it's like this is just what i'm doing this is what i want to do this is how i express myself and to question those things sometimes it's not helpful i don't think you know? you're right yeah, I don't. It probably never is helpful, but just part of the <laughs> yeah. it's part of the artist experience. Though, it right? is, yeah. I, I think yeah, even yeah, like yeah, Mac yeah. Miller, I, the best of the best out there, are still think feeling that way to some degree. Yeah, you know, oh, even yeah, even yeah. if it's be hidden be behind exactly. bravado and pretend, you know, exactly. fake ego. Like I'm the best. Oh no, they are humans. The people bro. that say like, that the most are probably man. the least exactly. secure. Exactly, hundred percent. Look, yeah. anything to strengthen your skill or ideology beliefs, it comes with questioning. So if mm -hmm. if I just always think this the shit, this the shit, this the shit, there's no growth. Like for me, I had to think, like my last project, there's some people who are like, man, that shit fire, that shit fire to me. I'm like, nah, and obviously I'm the shit. I know I'm the shit, but it's like, I know deep in my heart, I you could do, do better. better than that. Yeah. Even this project I've been working on for years, uh, I know whatever project I drop next is going to top it. But it's like, I'll just let life dictate that. Cause every time I question this music, something led me right back in direction like that show that y'all was at like there's so many times where i'm like shall i be doing this you know because i i got so much love i put all, all my hours into it and as soon as i question it it's just like opportunity opportunity do something do something every yeah. time i do it i'm reminded mm -hmm. right so it's like yeah yeah I like, mean, when i put out my solo episodes a lot of people say like which one's your favorite and i'll, I'll always tell them like the whatever one I just released is my favorite. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. otherwise no, I wouldn't real. release it. For but, real. But then, <laughs> but then the like, the, but I'll listen back like three weeks later and I'll be like, ah, yeah, <laughs> I could have done that so much better. But like, if right, continuous yeah. improvement, right? That that's exactly. like the. But somebody else could be like, that's my favorite episode. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And but, it could be have so many layers to it too. But you just know deep down, man, I could right. top that. But but then you, but then you get also like, at least for me, once people say that, you kind of start to wonder, well, I need to do that again. Or I need to do something more like that mm -hmm. again. But mm -hmm. then the more of that I put on myself, the less happy I am. And you know, like if I feel like I'm constraining it, yeah, exactly. Because putting it a formula on it, then it's not mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. And like, so for my podcast, it's all over the fucking map, right? Like, it's not true crime. It's not how to earn better money. It's not <laughs> yeah. exercise or health or whatever. But to have a successful podcast, I probably need to be in some, yeah, some yeah. like specific milieu, some specifics That's for sure. You mm -hmm. know, a niche. But fuck that. Exactly. Because yeah. I would hate you. myself if I came I'm here. Right. Oh, another one about trucks. This is who I am now. Or, yeah. Yeah. Enter yeah. Entertainment and pop culture. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just whatever. Like right? It's really whatever yeah. the fuck I want to talk about. So for me, just he like it is for you guys, I gotta, I'm got i banking on people to like me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and that's, so, that's a really scary look, thing. Yeah, what if they don't like me? Like, I listen to podcasts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like that sometimes because I listen to podcasts, right? And then, like, because, you know, Apple Music would show you, like, let's say if I like somebody and they're doing a guest appearance on somebody else's thing, right? Like, I'll listen to them still. I'll be like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I ever listened to this episode. Of this, guy, this guy again, but I like that my man was on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, you know, but it, crossover shit is real. Hell yeah. Like, I listen to so many and found new people via like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, dude, it's it's cool. It's we're we're in an era though where it's the barrier to entry to all this stuff is so much smaller than it was. Yeah, like when your uncles were in Motown. Yeah, how fucking hard was that to get there? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, hard as shit. and then you had you right. had to get there. You had to hope that they paid someone to mm -hmm. play it on the radio. Mm -hmm. You got to hope that you weren't getting taken advantage of by the student label, yeah. label, which I'm sure they were. Yeah, you know now, anyone can release anything anytime. Mm -hmm. But yeah. which is great I, for me. I would trade access over a competition all day. Like, yeah, yeah, it's more competitive now for the same reason, but at least yeah. I can do it. Exactly. Before I would have never had I a fucking chance. Exactly. We would have, yeah. we would have, had, thank God. So we would have been like, God knows what we would have been doing yeah, dude. to try to even get a oh, venue God, to no. perform our music, right? They would have been like, well, no, what are you gotta playing? Go what radio? So are you many on? people. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pailas and gatekeepers and shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a different times. Yeah, so much should deter you from just being yourself, honestly, doing whatever the fuck you want. I'm right, grateful yeah. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I like this era. I like being in the internet. And, and I'm not trying to brag, oh, sure. but I made, pros and cons, but I, I mean, facts. But I like facts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag here, but I made 77 cents in 2023 on my SoundCloud account. I saw Whoa. you post. I saw you up like that. Damn, like, oh, said, like, yeah, you guys said I could never make money playing music. I they see I got the table. Yeah, right? I mean, it'd be like that. A couple more years like that, Ooh. I could buy a Big Mac or some shit. Oh, I'd, be man. Getting, like, <laughs> I'd be getting small checks from certain things, like like some shit like that. I'd be Me like, too. oh, yeah, I made, oh, yeah, uh, $15 from SoundCloud this month. I'll get uh cheeseburger uh, yesterday yeah. dog. couple yeah. yesterday dogs just on me exactly on me outside right? it's still cooler than it would have been 10 years ago it would have been even harder mm -hmm. it would have been That's hard true. to make 15 bucks in a month without like, having yeah. a record yeah. deal or or some type of <laughs> mm -hmm. representation absolutely you which you would have had to pay 90 percent of your money to anyway or all of it yeah you would have got a bag of chips and big red gum yeah like that's what you made tonight See and back in the day like the whole all the people around you your whole team is trying to pigeonhole you into something that's marketable right which exactly. is like so constricting yeah, yeah. like i don't know and i'm not like a big fan specifically of taylor swift's music mm -hmm. you know but she does write songs that people fucking connect with and it's, does. it's poppy and like i there are songs of hers that are stuck in my head that's sometimes. what i was waiting i'm, I'm like, like where are we going that? with this because yeah. she's a bomb ass songwriter she yeah take that from her, people, like, people talk shit about everyone it's like exactly. you know how hard it is to fucking do this and right. they made it don't don't bring right. that person down i went to the movie right. i went to her the movie shit her tour shit the, mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah it was, it was decent it was good she killed that shit so are we we should we should release uh winner the winner heat at that like uh celebration theaters or something oh, at least a at least park. a 30 minute rendition of santa baby we should, oh yeah studio oh, yeah. park that'd be fire yeah, that'd I, def be I would definitely perform santa baby at the movie theater <laughs> i'd pull up for the, like they'd, yeah. they'd be like all right sir you have to leave <laughs> people are trying to watch the movie <laughs> <laughs> i used to work at the movie theater so that would be like full circle that I would feel be like circle. we that always like, i here. made it yeah that'd be like exactly. we always knew you would be great <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny well I, I appreciate you guys coming on well, obviously Jessica and I will be there at, at the Winter Heat we're excited it's gonna, hey, it's gonna be cool yeah, December 21st yeah. Winter Heat we're gonna, we gonna do our thing and go, people go to the show notes below you're gonna see links to their you know where you can listen to their music and Instagram and whatever wherever else that they, they want to direct you mm -hmm. check it out support these folks these are uh, these are people that are doing the thing that you always kind of wanted to do and didn't have the courage to. Oh, jump in! It's so. not too late. It's Unclaimed. never too late. It's never too late. Jump <laughs> in. Yes. Yeah. The water is warm. The water is yeah. warm yes, and safe. Is. That's a more po oh. that's a more positive way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Like, come down, get inspired, so then you can do it. Even if you're just playing a piano in your house and no one ever sees it, it's better for you for your soul to do that than to come home and watch fucking desperate house no yeah go to sleep you can do it too that's my for one real. of my favorite things for real always says he got a song too it's called you can do it too even like tyler brings it up to for real often because it inspired tyler mm. too but like yeah if that's for real's thing he always saying like you can do it too and he got a whole song because it's like you literally can like i yeah. mean it, it, Anybody but can. but you can do it it's not saying it's gonna be easy it's not gonna, mm -hmm. whatever it's just like you can do it though you know what i'm saying so yeah you see people that have parents that are professional athletes and they're professional athletes mm -hmm. or their their parents are actors they're actors and i think a lot of people believe that it's nepotism no it's but seeing it, is it, believing exactly bro, no, there is some degree yeah. of knowing people and all that but like the main yeah. thing for me is like they saw the discipline and effort that went into it but they more than anything they saw that oh i could fucking do this right someone with my genes did it why but can't i do but it but here's right. the thing because here's yeah. the thing like what's wild is because like so i went to um austin city limits uh festival a couple months ago and i saw a little sims there and she mm -hmm. killed that shit. oh she fine and that's this right like so like we uh what she was on our AGO mixtape, the Tabor mixtape, like that was, I That's believe, true. one of her first like um, American like features. It was with what? Waldo, 
uh single produced the beat i did the mixing and the engineer I gotta hear that shit. yeah it was icy like Oh, that's so fire. like yeah she been since she, sit for a while so like so to see her go underground there and where she's at now at the festivals gold link that was our that was our man's oh that's still singles boy they talk all the time like kate Trinata, i saw him rise uh it's him and sango they on the same uh agency label type situation um I can the list goes on like Vic Mensa, Chance the Rapper. Uh, I could go on right, but like I'm from Grand Rapids, a small city, so like it wasn't like I saw a lot of that shit here aside from the barges and then. But even then, it's like family, older family. So I wasn't like you know it's family. yeah It's you like connect whatever. as closely or yeah Yeah, you, if your fam is like uh, doing something, you're like I don't want to do that. My family's doing it right. yeah But like so once I found my boys doing it, but going around and seeing. All these artists had those early stages because I remember all these combos I would have with them. Like, I remember Gold Link, we was in the basement of Paris, right? And me and Walda was like, bro, how, like, what are you, basically, we was like, how, how are you, like, how are you managing all this type of shit, right? Like, what's, you know, what's the secret? And he was kind of like, man, I don't really know type shit. And then, like, so we would be like, well, this is what we on. And he was like, man, shit, y'all got it. better than me i don't fucking know he's like what bro you lit and even look now like go league is lit as fuck still right now to this day like lives in london still like Yeah. but seeing was believing to us that's why we was like all right well there's no way we stopping because we already seen it you know what i'm saying And and you see too that he wasn't necessarily didn't have it all figured out either. the Sometimes hell we have no this projection and we see all we see is did the not the have image exactly out there look and we don't realize what goes on behind the scenes. not Exactly. even to put Yeah. his shit out there Yeah. like that because like i mean that's my man he don't he won't care but like that's our man's but like so like when he if you look at go links like earlier videos and all his aesthetics and artwork cover art and all that shit, he wasn't even showing his face it was just like a little mask type thing so it's like you know what i mean people Yeah. are still trying to figure it out like eh, nah i don't i'm just gonna do this and just still Yeah, trying not put to myself figure fully out out there. Yeah, music yeah, yeah. videos he wasn't even really in none of his music videos like you would pan somewhere and it would be like a picture of him on the wall like you know what i'm saying because he was still trying to figure the shit out like you know so um but yeah but the blessing in that though is to be able to see like when i see artists like jade and sony and stuff like oh no yeah they got it they got it they got the Thank you. it's sit i seen Reach the you know juice. what i'm saying like around so it's like boom boom like it all it all comes full circle but seeing is believe seeing is believing and that's really Trusting what yourself. i think is is the most important because like it is hard to like bro if you ain't what if you never seen a plane fly like how it's like oh, Exactly. i've never Yeah. seen a shit what you Sounds talking seems about like magic. yeah you're like Yeah. no bro It does, yeah. all the time like you know <laughs> Right. Right. So seeing is believing, which means you got to get yourself down to pyramid scheme. Yeah, come see what's No going later than on. 8. Get there Come at 730 see what's to be going safe. on with us. Yeah. Uh Like, huh. yeah. Pyramid scheme, December 21st. It's a Thursday. It's leading into the holiday weekend. Go come come hang out with us. It'll be dope. Yeah. And while you're at it, stop down at Cento Ani in Holland Machine, where this you can find one of these nice Exactly. tables. Come get a sturdy table while you're at Yeah, it. it's sturdy. This is, Yeah. I think this is black walnut. <laughs> That's It weighs nice. over 6,000 pounds. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any stats. You <laughs> no, can it's eat maybe a like good dinner 10. on this. And now we're going to dive into a little bit of uh, uh, live performance here, you know, Let's do it. for some. Oh, yeah. And then you'll, you'll have seen music li link through here throughout the show. Support these folks. Check out their stuff. And, you know, thanks for checking us out. Yes, sir. Thanks, See guys. you later, So, winter heat. of course. Boom, boom. It was awesome. Winter heat, December 21st at the Pyramid Scheme. It's going down, it's going up, it's going left and right. I feel it, feel it. <laughs> Flame glasses I feel it, feel it. getting hot. I feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. It's called What It Do. I feel it. It's a track with me, my homie I feel Fifi. it. I feel it, feel it, feel Look. it, feel it. Feel the moment, back in it, when holy ghost, now we back in it Holy smoke, duchess, I'm twisting, we show the ropes if you down to listen The one and only, born in Michigan, real spiffy, so you know I'm dripping Fan with me, so you know I'm tripping Fan with me, so you know I'm wildin', got the tech cup bottles and then I'm dipping Fan with me, so you know I'm smiling, damn I'm so smooth, we serve it up in between the grooves We making headlines, you heard the news We felt left out, now we who they choose Put it all on the table, what I got to lose We off the whites, trying to shake the blues Daddy need some new shoes What it do, what it do I feel it, feel it What it do, what it do I feel it, feel it What it do, what it do Talk to me What it do, what it do Hey, hey, what it do What it do What it do I feel it Winter heat Talking to addict, I see you, I see you, I see you.
Everybody my man Sony, Jay right there, Rachel right there, I'm lit. Everybody lit. Uh, picking through the pedals, uh, there's a lot on the flow. I feel this can't go anywhere, just what I know. The feeling's electric, Kundalini feel it in my soul. They say life is a game, you trying to roll and play your role. Would you keep me on your top list? When these locals won't do the same Would you hold it down, down for me? In the rooms, would you say my name? That's the love that I like I'll put your name on my chain You stick around and learn something Teach me how you play the game, talk to me Please don't I might pick out my fro, uh, I might let my shit drip, ayy, I might let my soul glow. Uh, king of king shit, nice style stay on the medium fit. Period, yeah, pyramid, straight to the point, elements in the joint, and I ain't gotta be high to fly. I reach that height in low light, your aura shine bright in low light. They can't match your aura with no light. Talk to me. Talk to me. December 21st, we got the pyramid scheme. Come show some love. Bring your body heat. Most importantly, I want you to dance. It's called Please Don't Stop Loving Me. I produced the beat featuring my man Marcus Gates. That's all y'all get for now. Y'all gonna have to come out to that winter heat show. Me, Sony Ski, Jay, Paris by Night, Sheefy McFly. Pow, pow, pow. Talk in the attic. A talk in the kitchen. A talk in the bedroom. A talk to God. Y'all need to find God, y'all. A sturdy table. Peace. Y'all need to find a sturdy table. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Nice. Thanks so much, dude. That was dope. Yeah, we'll oh, edit that up. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yay. You wanna rap? You wanna rap? You gotta freestyle. You gotta freestyle. I got beats for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Man.